how does your community designate who is a, and I put this in square and scare quotes, a member? So how does your community designate who's a member? And is there anything that members can do in your community that non-members cannot do? <coughs> bum, bum, bum. Go ahead. Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? The, uh, the membership question for Mennonites is a hotly mm -hmm. uh, contested issue right now. Uh, just would have had a meeting this week about it uh, because uh, when you are a member of a Mennonite church, which is normally uh, the same thing as a baptism, uh, you have access to doing everything except for marrying people. And I think we'd let you marry people. Um, uh-huh. Uh, but that's not, we have to go through uh, credentialing processes, which are our national government related ones. So, Pennsylvania, you can, anyone can sign the marriage certificate. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, uh, for members, members and technically and Mennonite congregations can do everything. Okay. Uh, there's not a restricted uh, uh, level of access because of emphasizing on priesthood of all believers. Okay. And is there anything that, in your community then, is there anything that non members cannot do? Technically, uh, that's a congregational decision. Okay. So, the there would be some recommendations around that. Frequently, congregations will say members, uh, membership and voting privileges <coughs> are the same. Okay. However, we have increasing numbers of congregations who will say, well, our voting, our voting body is who attends here regularly. Okay. And then there's really no adequate listing of that kept. Mm -hmm. And there's really then, in effect, no membership role. Okay. So it's a little bit different. Yeah. Can I bring it out to a denomination since you work with, with new church development? Uh, how does... Now you, you're with Mennonite Church USA, right? Yep. So yeah. the, the merged guys. Um, how does Mennonite Church USA determine who's part of your, your membership and who's not? Mennonite Church USA is being pushed on that right now because uh, we have full membership Franconia Conference is unique in that it has a full membership status and an associate member status. It's a, considered a partner level status. Okay, okay. Uh, so we have a number of congregations that are partners that are also members of other conferences. Gotcha. Uh, and then we also have some congregations that are partners but are not members of any other denominational group at all. Okay. But our technical membership is is conference, you have to, each congregation has to be a member of a conference to be a member of the denomination. Right, okay. That, that can't be separated out. Okay. Nice. And do you have any kind of standards that you, they have to adhere to to be part of that? We'll get into that a yeah. little bit later. In, theor in theory, yes. In theory. <laughs> in theory, yes. And this is the part that maybe is a little bit questionable on YouTube, but I can say it anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, we can talk more about that. Uh. <laughs> We'll talk about that in a little bit. Go ahead, Chris. How about you guys in your church? How do you designate who's a member? Well, I, I think traditionally there were, um, you know, again, we're, this is something we're talking about now, too. I mean, a lot of this is up in the air as, as our, um, not just our congregation, as the dynamics change of, of who our members um, uh yeah, you know, there is there is the the process membership class baptism mm -hmm. and, and joining. Um, yeah, you know, some people are choosing not to to join congregations, but want to be an active part of what what we're doing at the church. And um, I think uh, I'm not totally sure of what our constitution um, says on that. Um, but yeah, you know, there, there's probably other. Um, guidelines for that uh, uh -huh. but one of the things that there is an openness we do have some some non-members <coughs> that are serving on some of our commissions and things like that which which is is kind of neat and you hope they'll would want to join so they're not technically members but they're on on commission not technically members i don't i don't believe they can they can head up uh one of the commissions but they can participate they can as a congregational uh representative okay um, Cool. Yeah, that's a big question for a lot of people, which is why we 